What's up YouTube, it's Astronomers, back with another episode of these 9 Monster Marks. And after leveling up our equipment, making sure we're prepared for battle, I return to the estate road and yeah, let's see if this is actually the start of the final quest or if not. Plus I'm curious how this is going to end in the, in the sense because we're going to have to fight like the ultimate Grimald Nox plus Zola probably and how this is going to turn out because yeah Zola must be the main antagonist right by the way let's go yeah yeah proceed we head down those are Lemuris? How did they manage to get out here? Yeah. It's just a hunch, but I have a feeling these are the unfamiliar beasts the world meant. Yeah, no shit. Let's send them back hacking. Maybe the whole city is going to be turned into a Grimoire's Nox. That takes care of that. Yeah, but still, why would the Lemurs turn up in a place like this? Perhaps Rosita may be able to tell us. Which reminds me, I produced still hasn't gotten in touch yet, huh? No, enough. Come again? This ain't nearly enough. Credo? Kill me already. What's with him? I'm not certain this is sudden even for him. I said. Kill me already, I dare you to try. What the fuck is going on? Adol, this is... Here they come. Another way for the news. What? Where'd they even come from? It is almost as if it was Kido who called them for it. We can talk about this, of course! If it's feeling of hatred and rage and all of that, that's the Grimald Nox, right? Oh, I forgot this is name. Like, there's nothing more annoying than flying enemies in this. Okay, now another cutscene, now we go back, come on. What's going on? Did I do all this? Indeed, you appear to be enjoying yourself quite a bit. You went berserk, huh? That's what I call it, a rampage. What happened to you all of a sudden? Yeah, that was extreme, extreme even for you. Again, huh? It's like you already know. I've got a tendency to get a little worked up when I'm fighting. But for a while now, I've been having a hard time holding it all back. Just when I thought I was in perfect form today too. So you're saying this has happened to you before? Not to this extent, I had completely lost our senses of reason until just a bit ago. Guess I'm no different from the Lemuris, once I get it, once I get like that. Uh, now is the perfect time as any, I'll be dipping out for good from here on. Well, now hold on just a second, dipping out for good, you, can, you can't even do that, can you? I'll fight my share in the Nox, but for me this chummy crew shot out ends here. Besides, you saw how I was back there. We're all better off this way, right? All I wanted was to give that Zola guy a good wallop in the kisser anyway. We can work this out. Don't kill yourself. Catch you later. 
Man, one of my main guys is gone. Can't believe him acting as if this is nothing. Actually, I think he's been ready for this ever since he realized what was happening. Knowing him, I bet he just chose to keep quiet about it this entire time. I know he did. That's the part that pisses me off the most. Credo is not exactly the best person, and he's incredibly scary too. But isn't there anything we can do to help him out, Ella? I don't know how though. See me neither. At the very least, we have managed to successfully fulfill the warden's request. Perhaps we should return to Balduk for the time being. You're right, there's not much we can do for him now, even if we wanted to. Let's go back to town, we can figure out what to do from there. The town is overrun, when we go back, it's full of Lemures, man. It's full! It has happened! It's begun! The ultimate Grimold Nox is turning the whole city into a Grimold Nox. I don't know. I don't know. Rosvita, where the heck have you been all this time? The Victory Day Festival is about to begin. I apologize, it turns out I had more to address than I originally expected. I can see you've taken care of the Lemures that expect escaped me just now. It was almost as though something had been luring them outside of town. Wait, you were chasing those Lemures from earlier, Prudus? We did end up defeating them, but Credo he did something befall him. Adam and the others tell Prudus the whole story of what happened with Credo. I see, so that's how it went. What do you think we should do? In all technicality, nothing. He will be summoned to the Grimlock nonetheless. It's true, but still. This impending Grimlock will be as formidable as, as I anticipated. The fact that the Lemures are appearing in our plane of existence attests to that. Our time is running short. Credo must compose himself sooner rather than later. How much do you know about Credo Rosvita? Given he was originally a comrade of mine, I'm fully aware of the kind of man he is. Allow me to tell you what little advice I can give. You, Ado, are the key to resolving this. How the fuck do you... I haven't even been with you guys. I haven't even been with you guys in the war. How the fuck am I the key? I am. That's right. Only you can, only you can bring Kudo to your senses. Now then, follow me. Wait, where exactly are we going? To tame a feral hawk, of course. Oh. I think the only way that we could help him is to fight him until uh, uh, until he has nothing left, like to expel his anger, you know? I assume. Thanks for stopping by. I'd want to make another stop, but the whole damn town's packed thanks to the festival. Le Petit Fleurist, you there? You appear to be good. <laughs> I knew it. You appear to be quite skilled. Perhaps you could honor us with a match. Don't make me laugh. I thought I told you I'm out of the group. Besides, I can't fight you even if I wanted to, thanks to this horseshit curse. How do we get around it? We don't have to. The circumstances have changed since last we tried. Adol is, in a sense, no longer the same Crimson King he once was. That coupled with the power of the Berserker is enough to lift that particular restriction. Berserker, so simply put, it is now possible for the two of you to cross swords. Ooh, <laughs> look you! <laughs> you don't say, well now you're talking. But do not misunderstand. Losing yourself to the depths of darkness is in no way a victory. You must awaken to your truest self, Credo, to who it is you really are. Don't know what you're saying, but as long as I get about with his majesty, I don't really care. And about you shall receive. I've prepared the venue. Follow me. I hope... I hope I don't fight it. I would hope it would be cinematic, would be way cooler than me fighting him. 
I don't think I've ever seen the Colosseum so vacant before. Yeah, though it won't be for, for too long. The Pendleton company had this time slot blocked out for us in particular. Okay. Carla did all that. Well, actually, it was my father who helped us out this time around. Wow, talk about family connections. Everyone, they are starting. Come on, let it be a nice cinematic enemy fight. Both of you are prepared, I trust. I am privileged to bear witness to this battle. I won't hold back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love Greedon! With your tears, mate! <laughs> I want to with your tears! Let's see His Majesty people please his way out of this one. Enough, stand ready. The power he intends to begin with it. Can only imagine how long he's been waiting for this. Are they going to be alright, I think? It's going to be hard to just stand here and watch them duke it out. It is not in our place to interfere, we must leave this matter to Adam. I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but I ain't showing you a lick of mercy. Begin. Man, I have to fight him. Stupid. What the fuck? I mean, all you're doing is just going... What? Yeah, of course, it had to be this stupid type of shit, man. Unbelievable, man. Let's just use all of this, use the trap up. I hope that blockhead's satisfied after this. I still do not understand why it is they are fighting. How often do you guess this is going to happen? Like him coming back. I assume five times in total. I don't know, but it's going to happen a lot, obviously. This is the third time. What do you say with the next strike? Is it just three times? Fuck you, man. Okay, it was three times only, okay? Would have never expected this to be just three times. <laughs> as good as I hoped! Oh, he's actually speaking. Of course not. I'm just getting started. That's what you like to hear, Kido, huh? 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 Uh, they're still at it. They can't even hold their monstrum forms anymore. Those two never cease to amaze. This reminds me of how Kredo was when he first fought Shadow Eye. No, I think he's even more determined now. Oh! What is it, Krisha? Is it just me? Or is Kredo's darkness starting to fade? Huh, maybe it's because he's not in his monstrum form anymore. How about it? Are you done yet? No. Nope. Like hell I am. <clears throat> You've got to be kidding me. I can't lift a finger. That is the consequence of succumbing to the darkness without knowing how to control it. But it's impressive you've lasted this long while carrying it inside you. 
I suppose you have Shadowlord to thank for that. Huh? What are you on about? For a long time, your only goal was to defeat Shadowlord. Your determination offset the negativity of your darkness, helping you maintain a balance. When Shadowlord was killed, your goal was no more, and your determination faded. That's when the darkness regained its control over you. That's the biggest pile of bullshit I've ever heard. You are a homunculus of a warrior known as a berserker. Their strength and darkness were two sides of the same coin. Does this sound familiar? <laughs> Since I was a kid, I was good at just about everything without putting in much effort. For a long <clears throat> time, I didn't get how people could be dedicated to anything. That all changed the first time I got myself into a sword fight. The fear and thrill I felt as I eluded death with every swing of my sword. And then the ensuing euphoria after surviving the life-threatening ordeal. For the first time, I felt alive. I had finally found meaning in my life. You found drugs, man. Yeah, trust me, I know, man. You found drugs and enjoyed the feeling of it. Not the fighting, you could have taken anything else that would have given you a dopamine rush. Not long after that, I watched Sister Lisa die right there in front of me. After that, things changed. I started challenging strangers, anybody who could put up a fight. I could only feel alive when I was staring death in the face. Contrary to what you believe, you're not a fighter, Kratos. <sighs> What do you say? Being good at everything made you feel like nothing was worth dedicating yourself to. But then you finally found something. Something you couldn't pick up right away. For the first time, you felt the desire to improve yourself. The desire to improve, huh? The satisfaction you feel stems from overcoming your weaknesses. This instinct is the very darkness inside you and the source of a Berserker's power. There's a thin line between conquering the darkness and being conquered by it. No, there's not a, it's not a thin line. You're not making any sense. At this very moment, as you lie there helpless on the ground, what do you feel? <laughs> off at how I didn't stand a chance against him. If you were truly angry, would you be smiling? I'm... smiling? Perhaps you feel like you found what you were looking for. You might even feel gratitude toward your opponent. Huh? You must have felt the same way after you lost to Shadowlard. I was... grateful to him? Warriors like you need a fair fight where they can realize their fullest potential. As long as you understand this, you will never be swallowed by your darkness again. So here she calls him he's not a fighter. And here she calls him a warrior. Plus the whole explanation is not really on point. Things are often simpler than they seem. You need only to change your perspective. <laughs> Dr. Noah told me something. He said that Shadowlard and Sister Lisa were childhood friends. What? It's possible Sister Lisa asked him to watch over you. I am as much to blame for placing you in that orphanage to begin with. I'm sorry, Credo. For everything. That's a whole lot of jabbering just to embarrass me. For someone they call a saint, you sure are a pain in the ass. I give up. You win, alright? I guess I can stick with you guys a little. Good. 
I have you to thank, Adol. Now, we can face the Grimwald Nox as a complete team. You are not our team, man. I don't give a fudge. You are not on our team, man. It appears all is well now. Ugh, you guys really had me worried. Hey, how's it feel to be dragged home by mommy after running away? <laughs> Come closer and say that again. <laughs> um, I'm just happy that Kratos back. <laughs> yes, I think we all are. I need to speak with you all about what's to come. Nothing, no one is as happy as me, just to make, make sure. Make it absolutely clear, man. I'm the happiest. Let's continue this discussion at the Dandelion. Adol, would you please carry Kratos? I have to carry him. What's the matter? Big boy Kratos can't walk on his own? <laughs> you little shit. Enjoy it while you still can. <laughs> he is, he is. That's what I. Always happy to help. Back to reading time, huh? Oh, why does it have to be the Victory Day Festival of all days? Maybe not. It's the day when the monsters are most active as a result of their amassed enmity. Monsters are more vicious today than any other time in the year. It's a testament to how deep the scars left by the Hundred Years' War really are. A hundred year war with a five hundred year old curse, huh? And now they're overflowing into our side. Civilians will be out celebrating. We'd best exercise caution. Yes. Tonight the Grimwald Nox will appear. And it will be like none other you've faced thus far. How will tonight be different from the other time? If it were just more monsters, it may not pose a great threat for you, monster. But the truth of the matter is, we don't know what'll happen until the time comes. So basically, as always, you are useless. I searched as much as I could, but I can't be certain of anything. So, we're going in blind. The We've always gone Nox everywhere in blind. More than a shell that the gods created. What resides within it is determined by the emotions it has accumulated. <laughs> like the kids said, we're going into a wolf's den dressed like sheep. Well, I suppose it wouldn't be much fun if we knew exactly what to expect. Did you find anything about where Zola is? You mentioned that we might not have to fight him after all. Yeah, nobody's heard from him. I doubt that coward would have shown his face anyway. Even I do not fully comprehend Papa. He does not see the world as we do. As his prior actions suggest, there is nothing he will not do to complete his research. I am not the best judge of character, but I advise against thinking of him as an ally. He was a remarkably adept strategist during the war, and was always true to his ideals. We had more than our share of arguments because of that. We should expect that he will intervene. He seems pretty quick to turn a blade against his allies from the Hundred Years' War. Not that I wouldn't do the same to him. So, what now? We're just gonna sit on our hands until the Grimwald knock? But there's still the danger of monsters appearing in the city. It couldn't hurt to go look around. Yufa's right. Either way, we'll all come back here when it's time. Be vigilant in areas where enmity may have accumulated the most. <laughs> That's so stupid. Be vigilant in areas where enmity may have accumulated the most. May. May. How the hell are we supposed to know where... Especially uh. places that have ties to the Hundred Years' War. This is uh, more specific, but still. We'll keep our eyes peeled. Hmm. So the plan is to patrol the city until the Grimwald Knox emerges. Great plan. Be careful. Now might be a good time to polish up your equipment, top off your supplies. And do come home safe and sound. Okay, my darlings? We wish on Tay. I'll have a glorious feast ready for you once you return. Don't tell me. 
Fuck you, man. Just fuck you, really. And three at that. Fuck, I don't think I'm doing them anymore. This is just pissing me off right now. Adding some fucking side quests at the end of the game, basically. For what? To drag this game out? It's the JRPG, it's already dragged out. Fuck, man. Foul with 26 minutes. Let's see what's out there. Fuck this bullshit, man. And I like um, a produce way more with her arm and with the leg and the weapon and Aprilla said to be careful in places I'd say that means we'll find the most monsters there. Okay. Let's start in those areas first. Alright. Adol. Shut up. Something in your eye. Um, for 500 years, I've fought with my homunculus allies, much like this. I've watched them as they grew up, and I've watched them as they died. 500 years of killing Lemiris, and grieving over my fallen comrade. Over time, the weight on my heart turned it cold and callous. The pain that used to be there was replaced with emptiness. It was easier for me to think of them as puppets and I the puppeteer. Yeah, man, I can't even imagine. That's true. This time, it's different. Each of them have their own challenges, their own concerns, their own unique lives. Oh, because before you never let the eye out. Now you've given them away. Their futures shine more brightly than the darkness I chose to live in. They reminded me of what it was like to feel human. And you, Adol, were the one who made that possible for them. I haven't done much. <laughs> On the contrary. Would it be selfish of me to say that I no longer wish for them to fight? Will there ever come a time when they'll know peace? Yeah. Anything is possible. We right. need only to focus on the obstacle before us with all we can muster. I'll be counting on you, Adol. How many errors are there? It's just one after another, probably. Yeah, side quests. We ain't doing side. We're going straight for the finish, man. Fuck this bullshit, man. It's really pissed me off. And I really enjoyed those side quests, man, but this... Besides, I guarantee you that the end of this game is probably going to last... Who knows, three to five hours, maybe. Maybe even more, man. Some games have like a ridiculously long end. Um, well, not final mission, but end game or whatever you want to call it. So far, 30 minutes about right. Yeah. Ah, look around town again. Just see the, the quest. Look around town again. This is what we've been doing like forever, man. Since chapter 8, I believe. Yeah, either way. Let's stop this here. Next time, we go for the cemetery, I believe. And figure this shit out. Until then, have a good one, guys.